Reggie's going to attempt to hand feed Chipmunk a pickle. <coughs> a pickle? There he is, right there. Oh, oh, oh no, he dropped the pickle. Come here. What you can do? Go get the pickle. There you go. You're so close. Just eat it. <laughs> Take the pickle. He, does, he likes uh, corn chips. That's his favorite. And everybody goes. Hey everyone, I'm at Bearhead Lake State Park. It's up in northern Minnesota, right between Ely and Tower, Minnesota. It's a great place to stay if you want to go fish lakes such as Lake Vermilion, Burntside, and there's a whole bunch of lakes kind of in between there in this area. So it's a nice, uh, economical place to stay, and it's a really nice campground. So I'm going to take you. A, on a little tour here so we can kind of see what it looks like all right if you're up here to go fishing you probably have a boat and a truck maybe two trucks we have two trucks a camper and a boat <laughs> we're in site 45e and these sites aren't real big but we managed to fit in all this stuff with some strategic parking so this is an electric site so we got our little 15 foot camper there i got my truck hooked to my boat i park straight in now we got Reggie over here. He just kind of parks in sideways just to get off the road. Now the rules say you can only have one vehicle, but when I called and asked, he says you can actually have up to two here. And if there's not enough room, you can always park at the boat launch with one of your vehicles if you need to. Now there's two loops that have electric sites and there's one loop that has just like primitive sites. So let's just take a walk around some of these loops and see what they look like. Right across from our site, have a little trail right there it goes into a uh, bathroom and shower right there which is really nice they also have a lot of vault toilets and stuff around here but here's kind of an idea of what they look like with nobody in them so not too bad um, they're big enough to get some uh, couple vehicles in here but there are some that are pretty small too so you got to be careful which one you get so here's site number 40 this one's a little bit uh, smaller you probably won't get as many vehicles in this one Right at the top of this loop, there's one of the outhouses. They're all pretty clean, pretty standard at state parks. And then it looks like we have a little trail here that connects to the other loop. Let's go over there and check that one out. And what's it, Site 39, they have a huge RV actually parked in there, so you can get them in here if you need to. I'm not sure where they put their vehicle. Let's go check out this trail. All right, we just came out on top of that other loop. This looks like a nice big site right there. That guy's in. That's number 58. And looks at the top of this trail here. We got a uh, little trail that runs down to the beach. I wonder how far that is. Let's go down and take a look. On my way to the beach, there's these little offshoots here that go down to these little mini docks that you can park your boat at if you have one here. Here's a shot of Bearhead Lake. So the campground surrounds is Bearhead Lake, and we did a lake review on Bearhead Lake, so if you want to see that, uh, I'll link it down below. You can check that out. It's a really pretty lake. It's got a lot of uh, trees around the shoreline, a lot of uh, structure on the bottom too, a lot of trees falling over in the lake. And uh, we always did pretty good fishing here. Here's a shot across the lake at the actual boat landing and the beach. I think it's right around, you go right around the corner, around there. So I gotta walk the trail here, it goes all the way around. I have a little bay here, so I'm still taking the trail. We'll go all the way around on the back side of the little island there. And then we'll see the beach. All right, here's another shot of the boat landing from the actual boat landing. A nice ramp there, you can rent some boats if you wanna fish here. They do have a 10 mile an hour limit on this lake. Here's the uh, boat dock, and then they do have a fishing dock right there if you don't have a boat and just want to throw a line out so we're just in the campground area right here but you can see they got all these trails all over the place if you like hiking and stuff blueberry lake haven't been there yet but uh norberg lake supposed to have trout in it and uh, eagles nest lake got a bunch of lakes up there but uh, let's go explore the campground here and show you what's around 
All right, here's the beach area. There ain't much of a beach, and you probably won't swim here, but uh, it's got a little kind of a park attached to it here, which if you just want to come hang out, you know, have a little picnic or something, it's a good place to do it. They even got this little pavilion back here if you have a large crowd. Here's the parking lot for the uh, boat ramp. You see a few people right there already have their vehicles and stuff parked out here. Plenty of room. If you do bring an extra vehicle with a boat or something, you need to park, you can park it here. Okay, the beach trail here comes out on the top of the loop where the uh, primitive sites are. So let's take a little walk around here, look at these sites. Number 11, number 10, number 9 is a nice wide spot, and it's right across from, so you've got some bathrooms right up there. One thing you'll notice is all these primitive sites without electric, there are always less people in them, which I love camping over here. It's always quiet, you have a little more room to yourself. The sites. They do tend to be a little smaller because mostly for like tents and stuff. The only reason I actually go to the electric sites is because um, I got my boat and I need to charge the trolling motor and uh, I film all my fishing so I have all my camera gear and stuff and he's charging every night. Other than that I wouldn't, I'd be over here fish, or, uh, camping in this spot. But this whole park is surrounded by these really tall pine trees which is really nice. You're kind of really back in the woods. Here's a nice site. Look at this nice big one. This is number four. Number four is a good one. And let's see, here's number five. You know, at a lot of campsites, the site itself actually matters because they come all different sizes and shapes, but here they seem to all be fairly similar in size. So there are a couple smaller ones, but overall, I guess it really doesn't matter which one you get. Here's the road that goes to the boat launch and picnic area, right where we just came from. We just took the the trail that goes down the back side. And then this next road over is going to be where the garbage is. There's also the trailer dump station down here. So I'm kind of curious what this looks like. Let's go check it out. All right, here you go. You're pretty much your typical dump station. A couple dumpsters at the back side there. And right back there is all your dumpsters. You can throw stuff in. If you come here to go fishing, here is a big plus. They got a fish cleaning house, which you don't see at every campground. And what's really nice about having a fish cleaning house is, I mean, you can see we're we're in the middle of the woods, and you know the mosquitoes come out when you try to clean fish. So you get a nice screened-in fish cleaning house where the bugs won't bite you, a nice stainless steel countertop to clean fish on, and a place to dispose of your fish. So here's a shot of the actual fish house. Go inside, take a quick look. They got the nice table here with a couple sinks, some faucets, and um, yeah, it's an in info here on how to, you know, bonus flay in northern. Got all your fish species here, and right now the lights ain't working for some reason, but hopefully they'll get those fixed. All right, if you're coming up here to go fishing, your best option actually is to get these camper cabins. So here's one of them. We actually stayed in this one. And this way, all you need is one truck and your boat, and you can park right here. It's got a long spot to park in, and everyone can stay right in the cabin. You've got a little picnic spot in the back, but I think there's enough room for like up to six people, something like that. But uh, that's what we stayed in last time. I tried booking it this trip, but they were booked so far out, I couldn't get one, so that's why we ended up in a campsite. So the first time we stayed here, we were driving in and right at the Bearhead State Park sign, a bear crossed the road right in front of it. It couldn't have been more perfect. And this time, we actually saw the bear again. And here's a quick video clip. I tried getting him on camera, but uh, by the time I got it out, he was already past us, but I did get him running up the road, so check it out. There's the bear at Bearhead State Park. I probably can't see now, he was right in the middle of the road. Hey bear. Yeah. Hey bear. Hey bear. There's our bear. He's walking down the road. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. 
Where are you going? 